Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is answering client questions. Uh, we've had a lot of clients uh, interacting with us by uh, phone calls, emails, in-person discussions. One of the questions that keeps occurring is, how high can this market go? How long can this bull market last? And as we got into some debates and discussion today, which by the way, I thoroughly enjoyed, uh, I thought you had some very good points. So let's uh, just pull the curtain back and uh, let people see that. So, uh, Bobby, you want to talk about uh, uh, your numbers that you threw out yeah. this morning? Yeah, so one thing we look at is uh, the conference board's leading economic indicators. And so what this consists of are 10 economic factors. And uh, so these factors include claims for jobless benefits, factory orders, even S&P 500 performance. And so right now we're um, seeing strength among all, almost all 10 economic factors across the board strength. Now, we have the, uh, the election coming up, uh, the midterm elections. We'll see what happens. But right now, across the economic board here, we're seeing a lot of strength. So it's unlikely to see six, you know, an economic downturn in the next six, 12 months. Well, right. I, I think also a lot of the concerns are based off that the market, market expansion starts in 2009. And so it feels like we've had, a, it, when you say the market hasn't had a correction since 2009, it feels like a very long time period. But you know, while that's technically correct, it's not completely honest. Well, let's, let's, let's give our, let's give our yeah. viewers here this, this information. The current bull market has lasted 3,245 days. Uh, it is the second longest on record. Uh, the longest was 4,494 days, and that was from late 1987 to early 2000. Now, in that time period, that late 1987 to 2000, uh, that market, that bull market, did not experience a single decline of 20%. So if you look at that, then one would say, wow, we still have over a thousand days to go to catch up with the longest bull market. But then you interjected, Trey, a whole different perspective that I think our viewers need yeah, to hear. Yeah, so kind of if you look at the numbers, really, it, we're not from 2009 expansion. We're really at the beginning of the 2016 2017 expansion okay, from, an, that. from an economic market standpoint. So, people, like, go back to 2016. The first 2016 January was the worst January in history. The market fell north of 15%, not technically a correction because it didn't reach 20%, but it got really close. We also had five straight quarters of the S&P 500 earnings dropping. Right. That's not terribly great. We also had negative uh, manufacturing growth. We had a huge right. industry in oil. I think we all remember oil collapsed, nearly completely taking out the entire oil industry. So while, while that was technically not a market correction, it looked very much like an economic Right. downturn. And so sure. it, it feels like we've. if you start in 2009, yes, this is getting long, not the longest in history. But if you if you really look at the numbers, we're just at the beginning of a new possible bull run. And you look, and it comes out in the earnings. Earnings growth second quarter is looking to be 24.6%. That's nothing, that's not what you see at the end of a, t of a run. That's something you see at the beginning because companies are just now growing. Take, for example, energy had 123% earnings growth. That's not the end yeah. of a cycle. That's the beginning of a new cycle of, a co of an industry that it was destroyed in the last downturn, right. which was 2014, 2015, sure. kind of beginning in 2016. Energy's finally coming back. So it doesn't really look like an old market. It, it, it feels like because we haven't had a technical correction, but that's, you know, it's, it, we've had something pretty close a couple times. Yeah, and that's why we do these vlogs. One, to answer our clients' questions and to, to let them know the impact of all the news that's out there. We're not trying to recreate a new service. We're trying to bring ideas to the table and inside of the research we look at so that they can understand there's different ways to look at this or what noise that's out there can really impact their portfolios or provide them a guidance and understanding as we navigate as to how earnings can increase, how this economy can continue to expand. So on that note, hopefully you've watched this today from your phone, your laptop, uh, office, home, to understand better that we still think that there's uh, momentum in this market uh, earnings are still running strong, and we're going to keep you updated. We also appreciate all the questions. This is one example of how we respond to clients' questions, continue to have that interaction with us. And then the last thing, what a great compliment. What a great way to introduce us to colleagues, friends, and family as you share these vlogs with them. Uh, that's a huge compliment to us, and we thank you for that. Go and have a great week. No, we're going to keep our eye on these markets, and I thoroughly enjoyed the dialogue with these guys. Uh, all the times we debate and uh, go back and forth at each other, uh, it's fun to come to conclusions. Have a great week.